So I've been using the LG G4 as my daily driver for a little while now, and until last night, I actually hadn't really spent any time with any sort of accessories. This is the first real upgrade I've done. As you guys saw, I'm doing a giveaway of the other LG G4 leatherback, but I got in contact with a company called Cellular Outfitter, and they offered to send me a bit of a grab bag of accessories for my device. Now they actually asked me which devices I've got, and I gave them a list of them, but I told them the G4 is my daily driver, so I would assume that what they sent me this large bag is filled with things for the G4. So I thought I'd go ahead and open it up and take a look at some of the things that they sent and just let you know my sort of thoughts and opinions on it. I will put it out there ahead of time. I did receive these products for free for review and I am being compensated for my thoughts and opinions, but they are my thoughts and opinions. I'm not being influenced in any way. So let's go ahead and dive into the package and see what they sent. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in there. So let's get started. First up, I see what appears to be a case. This is a blue case for the LG G4. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it on the G4. Oh, that is interesting. It's a two-part case. Not really sure I expected that. So it's a bit unfortunate to be covering up this back, but as I've several people have mentioned, these leather backs do have a tendency to scratch, so it might not be such a bad idea to keep it covered from time to time. So let's just see how this works. And there you go. That was really straightforward and easy to put on. You've got a little bit of a lip here to help protect the screen. Of course, that screen has a little bit of a curve to it to begin with, but the case snapped together very easily. It has a very soft touch feel to it. Not bad at all. And I'll go ahead and say it. This case was very easy to put on, but I'm not having an easy time taking it off. All right, that took a little bit more effort than it probably should have. Maybe I was doing something wrong, but it was very tightly on there. Part of it might have been that I was using the leather back, so I've gone ahead and switched back to the plastic back to try the rest of the things out. Moving on, though. Next up, I see another case. I would assume this is a TPU slide-on silicone kind of case. So this will be a little less protection than the last one, hopefully a little easier to put on and take off. Let's just go ahead and see how it works on this one. Yeah, that was very quick and painless to put on. You've got still that nice soft feel. It doesn't feel particularly slippery in the hand, but it also doesn't provide any real grippiness. You still have all of your cutouts exposed. There you go, there's a little microphone and three and a half millimeter. No buttons on the sides, obviously your two top ports exposed, and of course everything on the back that you want to get to with your little G4 logo shining through. When I first saw this in the package, it looked a little bit more pink, but now that I've got it in the light, that's definitely a bright red color. I like the color on it, and I like the way that this feels in the hand. If I were going to be wearing a case on it, this is probably the case I'll be using. But that's not all. Let's go ahead and see what else came in the package. And ooh, this is very nice. Let's open this up and see how it looks. I've never been particularly big on folio cases, but let's just see how this one looks and feels. So it does have a TPU case built into it, so you get that same sort of level of protection as we got from the previous TPU case, but you've got this folio that you can use for holding cards and whatnot. That might actually be really nice for traveling if you don't want to have to carry a wallet with you. So there we go. I'll go ahead and just slide that in there very quickly, very easily. That isn't bad at all. And then it magnetically closes like that. Let's see how well it holds. I'm holding it by this side and that magnet is holding pretty nicely. Pull on it. It's not coming apart. Definitely not bad. This is, uh, it's got sort of a leather finish, but it's very clearly not leather, just looking at it. It's almost kind of a wood grain look to it, but it's it's very clearly just plastic, but definitely not bad. I could see sticking this in a pocket. Like I said, if I were traveling or something and I wanted to be able to carry some cards or maybe some cash or something like that, you've got this little area here for all of that stuff. Definitely a nice little option there. Looks like we're gonna have a few things in here that are not cases, so that's pretty nice. This is a 3.3 foot, one meter USB charging and data sync cable. It does both lightning and micro USB. I've got a couple of cables like this that I've used a lot of times in the past. My son has a, an iPad mini, so it's always really nice to have one cable that will do both. I'm gonna go ahead and break it out of the box while we're here. So there's the cable. Hard to show this on camera, but it definitely is about three and a half feet. And you have your little attached cover here that provides you with your lightning connector if that's something that you need. Otherwise, you do have your micro USB, so you get the all-in-one cable without having to carry two cables. Now, for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and lump these next three together because I don't think I'm actually going to try any of them out currently, but I just wanted you to see them. First up, we have a plastic screen protector. I've gone ahead and opened it up very quickly here. Basically, just the same as all the other screen protectors I've looked at. You peel one side off, you stick it to the device, you peel the other side off. You can clean the device ahead of time with the included micro cloth, and this is to help get the bubbles out. However, there are two glass screen protectors here, both of them 9H hardness. 
not a chemistry person, so I'm not sure about the, the Mohs hardness scale, but I know that's what it has to do with. And the higher that number is, the harder it is. They're both anti-scratch, anti-shatter. They both have the oleophobic nano coating on them. Very slim, very nice. This one says it is 0.26 millimeters thick. This one says it is 0.2 millimeters thick. And let's just give you a quick look at them so you know what's going on. So inside of both of these cases, you can see you have both wet and dry wipes. So you can wipe the device down with a wet one and then with a dry one later. And you also have the included glass screen protector. So we'll go ahead and take that out and try to be kind of gentle with it. But there you go, that's what it looks like. It's very thin, it is slightly flexible, so that's very nice. But it is presumably glass. Next up in the bag, I see a Mobo Vita, Mobilize Your Life, designed with love in California, micro USB cable. I definitely like the packaging on this and actually the color of the cable. It stands out like a sore thumb and I kind of like that. Should make it very easy to find. I'm a big fan of a braided cable and this one, let me just hold it up real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's about six feet, maybe six and a half feet. So maybe two meters or so. Very nice long cable there. And as you can see, it is micro USB. So this should be very handy, may actually be very handy in the car. And the very last thing to mention, another case, but this one is kind of the big daddy of them all. As you can see here, you have this little part that pulls off. This has the, the belt clip on it, the pocket clip, whatever you'd want to use it for, with some uh, what looks like a felt liner to it, so hopefully it'll keep your screen from getting scratched up. And then you have your two-layer case here. One is the inner silicon TPU case, which we'll just go ahead and slide around the device. Actually slides on easier than the TPU case I tried out earlier. And then you have the outside shell protection doesn't provide a huge amount of protection on top of that TPU, but it should provide some additional structural integrity and the corners have a little bit more protection now, as well as having this little flip out kickstand. Very, very nice, look at that. And then when you're all said and done with it, if you've got this on your belt or anything, you should be able to just click it in there. Not too bad to try to click that in there. And then this should swivel so you can put it on your belt and put it at whatever angle you want. I'm definitely a big fan of that blue color. It goes along nicely with the UK blue. I'm a Kentucky fan. Not sure how much I like having this large of a case on there, but if I were doing something more rugged and I wanted to be able to have this on my belt or have this on my pocket, that would definitely be a good option. But I think that's going to be about all for me for today. Cellular Outfitter definitely has a wide variety of things available, and there are a lot of really good products on their site. I took a quick look earlier, and all the things I saw on there were very reasonably priced. And on top of that, they've given me an exclusive coupon code that I can share with you guys. I'll have that down in the video description, may flash it up on the screen as well. It gives you 25% off your first purchase with them. They do this sort of thing a lot, but they normally do it through their email list. In this case, you're not actually having to sign up for their email list to get the code. You get it right out of the gate. So I do highly encourage you to go take a look at their site and see if there's anything you're interested in purchasing from them. But that's going to be about all for me for today. Thanks so much to Sell Your Outfitter for making this video possible. Links to some of these products can be found down in the video description. Remember, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below the video and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available and I'll see you again next time.